Good morning, friends and fellow traders. This is Doug Campbell with Right Way Options, and this is the morning market preparation video for December 7th, 2018. So looking at this market, we've had quite the turmoil here with all kinds of back and forth. Yesterday, we ended up with a massive whipsaw after hearing that the FOMC uh, plans to take more of a wait and see approach. Um, we started to rally yesterday, pushing back up. As you can see that the diamonds came very, very close to filling the gap after holding down here in this price support. So that is a good sign for us, but unfortunately we're not seeing a follow through this morning. As I record this, the Dow futures are pointing to a 120 point gap down um, at the open. So certainly um, uh, volatility is here to stay. So let's take a look at this, um, just kind of remove any bias from the trade. We did hold on to this support, which is a good thing. We um, are below our downtrend here which obviously is not a good thing and we do have price resistance through here so with the market kind of pushing back down this morning I don't know if we're gonna get a uh, push back up or, or if we're gonna come back for a retest but certainly the volatility is here to stay and it's making it very very difficult for most traders to be um, in the market right now getting chopped to pieces with this just incredibly massive volatility that we have seen over the last few days so be very very careful how you approach this today um, anything is truly possible um, so watch it closely now just like with any gap what we want to make sure and do is we want to make sure that if we see that gap move uh, down we want to watch and wait after the open and see if there's follow through sellers on that gap move or if the uh, the bulls happen to hold on to this and start pushing it back higher so watch that close after the open don't chase the gap wait for the trade and as we speak right now the futures are bouncing They've, we've bounced 20 points since i started talking here so anything anything is truly possible massive volatility this morning let's take a look at the spy SPY similar situation a really nice hold down here at support and so we kind of have to we, we got to love that with that holding down there uh, showing some signs of strength off of that level uh, again this downtrend still in play we're obviously still under that and we have resistance levels through here that we need to pay attention to on this rally back up and keep in mind that we're looking to open a lower this morning as well so watch that closely if we take a look at our moving averages on uh, this chart you can see that um, any rally back could find significant resistance right in this area so watch that closely any of the oh, whoops all of these moving averages in here will create um, a problem for us as we start to rally back up and uh, keep in mind that um, SPY is just now creating that death cross the 50 crossing over the 200 so not exactly a good sign for us. Let's take a look at the Qs. Now the Qs did a better job in the other indexes yesterday in the in the sense that it did rally back um, to fill the gap. So you can see we found support right in here and we rallied back up and fit, completely filled the gap, testing this downtrend level right here. Now, of course, you know, we could redraw that with this downtrend like this. So keep in mind, you, you might draw draw these in many different ways but that's what we're dealing with right now and we do have um, resistance to deal with in this chart certainly right through here is a level of resistance and of course there's other levels up here that we have to be considering as we rally back so watch these um, watch these resistance levels and as the cues gap down a little bit this morning we'll want to be careful and, and be focused on that price action to see what happens there let's take a look at at IWM 
the Russell uh, making an, a new low yesterday, gapping all the way down here to a new low, but rallying back and coming very, very close to filling the gap. So we have three indexes that didn't quite make it for a gap fill and one that did. Of course, we still have this downtrend here to consider, downtrend line that is still in play, and um, obviously that's going to cause us some concern or issues as we as we rally back up. Uh, this morning we're gapping down and we do have these multiple layers of resistance and you can see it uh, throughout the chart here these multiple layers of resistance that we will have to break through to improve our situation in the IWM. Let's take a quick look at the VIX. Now the VIX was kind of a wild ride yesterday, um, gapping su substantially higher and then rallying strongly. But the good news is it didn't turn into sheer panic and really create one of these massive spikes here. So that's a good sign for us. And um, any pullback in here would certainly be welcome to bring us back down um, inside this wedge pattern that's kind of being formed here. Um, on the VIX, so watch that closely. Let's um, take a look at T21, 22. T21, 22 is the four week new high, new low ratio. And I get more questions about this than, than probably anything else that I show. And that is um, wondering where they can get it. I, I don't know where else you can find it, but it's part of TC2000, and I have used it for years and years and years. It's a great indicator for helping us see overbought, oversold conditions. So just a couple of days ago, we were looking up here. We were reaching up here toward that bearish reversal zone. And in a real quick move, we came right back down here to the bullish reversal zone. So as you can see right now, we're down here uh, in this low area. This morning's gap down might move us back down into this area a little bit, which gives us some possibility that we have plenty of upside room uh, to to move and to rally up out of here. Keep in mind that the market could certainly just consolidate. And as we head into the weekend, all of this uncertainty, political uncertainty with with trade, the uh, uh, yield curve inversion, um, all the issues surrounding that. At least Congress did manage to pass a stopgap measure, uh, kind of kicking the can down the road for a couple of weeks for um, a government closure. But all that really does is, is continue to leave this big cloud of uncertainty in the market. So expect that volatility can, to continue and be very, very careful. Let's take a look um, at the... Um, economic calendar here. Um, today we have the big uh, employment situation number coming out this morning and uh, that obviously can move the market around so you want to keep an eye on that employment situation number. Consumer sentiment after that at 10, uh, natural gas report which I wouldn't expect to really move the market around. And then keep in mind, we do have um, some Fed speakers and stuff here today. So watch that close. But that first 8.30 a.m. Uh, Eastern Time uh, report on employment situation could certainly move the market substantially. So you'll want to pay attention when that comes out. That could either greatly improve our future situation or greatly uh, diminish that situation, making it um, even a bigger gap down this morning. So watch that report carefully. Hey, everyone, I want to wish you all a great weekend. I want to wish you great success. And if this is the first time you've seen these videos, please do me a favor. Could you click on that subscribe button on YouTube? Click that follow me button on Facebook. Click those thumbs up buttons, drop a comment, and please, please always feel free to share this uh, video with any friends and family that you might think uh, could benefit from it. If you... Um, want to take a look at a couple of stocks. There are a few stocks out there that really um, started to look pretty darn good um, yesterday and um, a f on a few different time frames. Let me go to um, UAA. 
UAA on the daily chart, you see had a nice bullish engulfing candle moving up off of that gap down low uh, pretty substantially. It does have a resistance high here that we have to watch. But here's what I wanted to show you. If you take a look at UAA on a weekly chart, my goodness, that is a very pretty chart, a pretty setup. And if this can break through that resistance uh, level right here, this has got some nice upside potential. So you might want to keep an eye on UAA. Um, I've mentioned FireEye several times. FireEye, really beautiful rally back yesterday. Um, big bullish and can engulfing candle here. Looking very, very good. So you might want to keep an eye on charts like that. And there are quite a few out there looking um, looking that way with that big rally back yesterday. So watch that close. Now, a lot of these could be gapping down this morning just based on what's going on in the market, but we'll want to keep an eye on that. Um, another chart to maybe keep an eye on is Etsy. Etsy, nice breakthrough of this upper resistance area and a beautiful recovery yesterday, showing that this level right in here could be a price support. Bouncing up off of there, we would need to see some follow through on this, but Etsy is looking really good this morning. So there's a few trade ideas for you. There are certainly a lot more to take a look at. Uh, with the big volatility of the market. But please be really, really careful. Um, anything is possible through this weekend, and we want you to stay safe and keep your capital protected. Remember, when volatility is like this, cash is a position, and a position that's often very underutilized. And as for me, I'm pretty comfortable right now. I'm mostly flat, except for maybe some quick intraday trades to kind of take advantage of some of the volatility. Um, I don't don't expect to add any additional risk into this weekend because anything is possible Monday morning. Big gap up, big gap down. I'm just, I, I, I'm going to protect my capital. I've had a great year and um, I see no reason to um, put a tremendous amount of risk into the market as we head into the weekend. So with that, everyone, have an awesome, awesome weekend. I want to wish you all great success, and we'll talk to you all very, very soon, bright and early Monday morning. Take care, everyone. <laughs>